Alright, welcome. Once again, we are at Moda Today we're installing five mods. These are all five fixed mods, and they require SKSE for the most part. They also require SSE engine fixes for .NET script framework and actor limit fix. So we're going to go ahead and go through better dialog controls. The reason you need this is when you're scrolling through and then you hit enter on the keyboard, it doesn't always select the same option as what you think you're selecting. And this should hopefully fix it. So let's go ahead, download, mod manager download as usual, better dialog controls, or better message box controls. This one allows you to use your keyboard to switch what you're, collect what you're selecting this also changes how the message box work and what you can click on. So let's go ahead and mod manager download that. Third one, stay at system start page. This one is basically what it just is titled. One important thing to note is you need the updated version by Fudgy Duff or Ryan. Do not get the old version because that will crash your game. Go ahead and go to Files, Mod Manager Download. It will have a pop-up. Go ahead and download. .NET Script Framework. This requires either the DLL Plugin Loader or SSE Engine Fixes Part 2. I recommend go ahead and getting SSE Engine Fixes Part 1 and 2 anyway, so you do not need the DLL Plugin Loader. Go ahead and Files. Go to Mod Manager Download. It will pop up with a notification. Hit Download again. Actor Limit Fix. This requires the .NET Script Framework, which means it needs SSE Engine Fixes as well. This allows you to have more than the old limit of NPCs in the area without them floating away. Go ahead and go to Files. Mod Manager Download. Download. First, let's go into Mo Mod Organizer 2, Downloads, and let's start installing. Better dialog controls, message box controls, stay at system.net script framework, actor limit fix, enable all five. These should not have any plugins, so do not look here. Go to where you downloaded the mods. Go ahead and shift select all of them or control select. Right click, extract to, star, slash. Go into Cortex. New mod from folder. Go ahead and select each one. Now here's where things get a little bit tedious. Right click on the first one, mod files location. Go ahead and double click on the top bar create a new folder, name it data. Drag NetScript Framework into data. And that should enable this to run properly. Go up to the mods page, sort by date modified, go into the next one, mod files, new folder, data. Drag and drop in. Next one, mod files, New folder, data, drag and drop. All three, in. Data, drag and drop, close. Now, check all five of them. And for the last one, in Vortex, go ahead and go to Mods, go to Uninstalled, select them all, and click Enable. Allow it to deploy, and they should be good to go. There you go. Just that simple.